On a very rare occasion, two of your favorite hobbies can intersect and complement each other in a meaningful way. And of course, I'm talking about the car hobby and the watch hobby. Both hobbies require a certain level of appreciation for precision, engineering, and design. Just as a car enthusiast can appreciate the mechanics of an engine, a watch collector can appreciate the intricacies of a finely crafted timepiece. In both hobbies, attention to detail is crucial, and enthusiasts often seek out rare and unique pieces to add to their collections. Since I'm a Mustang enthusiast, I decided to move the show to my garage today because today's watch is the Breitling Top Time B01 Ford Mustang. Unfortunately though, this piece isn't meant to resemble my Mustang. It has been designed to resemble the first generation of Mustang from 1964 to 1974, which featured a variety of green paint colors. It also is significantly upgraded from the first generation of Top Time Mustang pieces. But will this piece encourage the Mustang enthusiast to pick this up, or will it just sit on the lot? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Seiko SPB337 Night Vision Limited Edition Alpinist, which has tactical inspiration, as if you're looking through a night vision scope. This piece really has a lot to offer for its price and would be a great pickup for a watch enthusiast to have some fun with in the summer, or for someone just getting into the hobby to wear daily and enjoy. Rich check time, today I'm wearing my Oris Aquas Clipperton Island Limited Edition, which my wife actually bought for me because it went so well with my car. And this is a great example of how one hobby can really influence and take part in another. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Breitling Top Time B01 Ford Mustang has a 40.8 millimeter case width, a 13.5 millimeter thickness, a 50.1 millimeter lug to lug, a 19.6 millimeter lug width, a 36.6 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 97.84 grams. The case is the top time case and is round with thin lugs that have high polish on the top and matte finish on the sides of the case. The bezel is high polished and the sapphire crystal is a form of box style which sits significantly above the case. The start and stop pusher and reset pusher are cylindrical and can be found at the standard two and four positions. The crown can be found at the three position and is not screwed down and has the cursive B logo on the top. The dial is in a green tone that will remind you of one of the classic Mustang green tones that they used in the first generation. It now includes a shaded racing stripe at the top middle, which its predecessor did not have. The tachymeter scale can be found along the edge of the dial with its own black ring and an orange and yellow highlighted area on the right hand portion. The markers are white rectangles with a double marker at the 12 position and single markers for the rest, and a white minute scale in between each. Breitling can be found in cursive spelled out at the top middle portion and the Ford Mustang logo in all its glory beneath it. The hour and minute hands are skeletonized pencil style and have an orange toned chronograph second hand. Top time can be found beneath the hands in white. The actual second subdial can be found at the left middle portion in black and the shape of this is touted by Breitling as the Scorsel, which is not a square or a circle. It has white numerals and a silver toned hand. The minute counter for the chronograph can be found in another squirsel at the right middle portion with a black background. White numerals and orange accents with an orange hand to match the chronograph second hand. Another squirsel can be found at the bottom middle portion with a black background, white numerals, and a yellow hand for the chronograph hour counter. Loom can be found on all dial markers and on the hour and minute hands. The case back is open, which is an upgrade over the closed case back on the previous model, and it has a skeletonized rotor, which somewhat resembles a classic Mustang steering wheel. And the Mustang logo is printed onto the glass in the center. 
Another upgrade over the previous model that this piece has is the movement, which is the in-house B01 caliper, which is automatic, has a 70 hour power reserve, beats at 28,800 beats per hour, has 40 joules, and is a chronometer making it accurate to between losing four and gaining six seconds per day. The strap is made out of calfskin leather and is racing style in a dark brown tone with white stitching and a folding pusher buckle that has Breitling signed on it. The interior of the strap is in Breitling yellow. The Breitling Top Time B01 Ford Mustang is 100 meter water resistant, is part of the standard Top Time collection, and can be yours for $8,000. Now for my personal opinion, I'm going to say that this is a piece that I would actually consider picking up. I really like the aesthetic of the case, and although my Mustang isn't green, the green tone on this piece is beautiful. I also like how they put the racing stripe at the top to make it feel even more sporty. The Squirtle is a funny thing and we can make Pokemon jokes all day, but it actually is a great aesthetic that softens the dial a bit. It is relatively thin for an automatic chronograph and wears great on my six and a half inch wrist, I must say. It is great that they added the display back with the Mustang steering wheel look and the B01 caliber to this piece too, since that really elevates the top time. I think that although this one isn't color matched to any of the newer Mustangs, it still has the Mustang logo right on the dial and gives you a nice taste of the car's rich heritage. And thus, I think will appeal to a broad Mustang owner audience, or just automotive enthusiasts in general who appreciate two brands with a rich history coming together. I will recommend this for anyone who is an automotive enthusiast or Mustang enthusiast particularly, or just want a fantastic looking sporty chronograph to add to your collection. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.